Yeah. Uh, evening, everybody. Um, <laughs> Dave is back from London, but he's very tired, so he's gone to bed. Um, so the blog post is left to us again. Yeah. Um, tonight we're going to be a little bit more serious than we've been the last couple of nights, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about um, how we sort of plan our work um, on zombies. Um, you might think from previous blog posts that all we do is either do nothing and eat sweets, or just kind of work and work and work and work and work. And other than the fact that we're making a film, exactly, um, we don't really kind of have any sort of other organisation, which isn't true. Um, before we embarked upon post-production, uh, myself and Dave and Eve, who did a lot of the work on this at the beginning, thanks very much, uh, basically sat down um, and went through all the tasks that we had to do in post-production. We went through everybody's sort of workflows completely, like Shaz and his, um, ooh, Shaz, that side, there you go, <laughs> Shaz and all his 3D work, Elliot and his other visual effects, Tim and the grade, and we basically broke everyone's goals down into sort of little tasks, like all the different sections that they had to complete and um, set these out according to sort of a time plan for the time we had to do post. Um, we put these together and um, added these to an online web-based uh, sort of piece of collaboration software called CoMindwork. Um, if you're interested, www.comindwork.com. Um, basically, you can put all of your tasks and goals into that, and then it can create um, various different um, sort of charts and, and that sort of thing to track your progress. Um, add everyone as users in there, they can go in, look at their tasks, update with what they've done, um, post issues and problems and, and that sort of thing and generally give everybody a good idea of exactly what stage in the project that we're at. Um, probably the most useful thing that Comine Work will create for you is um, a Gantt chart which basically plots the task you have to do against um, a time scale. Um, and I will just show you that quickly now for zombies. Uh, if you can see this, sorry, CRT monitor, not going to look pretty. Uh, right, basically, this is our lovely Gantt chart here. So we've got all the individual tasks that we worked out broken down over here um, for each sort of particular section of, of post-production. Um, over here, we've got time across the top, um, weeks and days, and then these blocks are particular tasks. Uh, the green highlighted areas are what's been completed and the blue areas are what's sort of still to be done. Um, you can show everybody's as we are at the moment or you can change this to show, so let's look at, let's look at, um, let's look at Elliot's workflow. So we're just looking at tasks assigned to Elliot at the moment. So we go back to the beginning, all this green's been completed. Uh, this green line is where we are at the moment. Um, so sort of Elliot's pretty much bang on target which is really good. Um, so there's lots of different things you can do with that. Um, what I've also done is, just so we've always got this as a record, I've um, basically made our own little Gantt chart for this, um, printed this out and put it on the wall up here. So here we have, this is just um, Shaz, Tim and Elliot, uh, because they're sort of the ones who've got the most sort of work to do that's easily kind of laid down to time. So we've got time, all of post-production running across the top here, as you can see. Um, and then everybody's individual tasks down here. Um, and this lovely green string here represents the day to day, um, Wednesday, the 23rd of September, as it is today. As you can see, we're almost halfway through the entire post production on Zombies, which is possibly a little bit scary. Um, but so this is on the wall in our office, so we can see this every day um, and see exactly what we've got to do and by when. Um, we've also got our lovely uh, board up here in the office where we can put sort of particular targets and problems and that sort of thing and goals for the week and that sort of thing up there. Um, and obviously living and working together does help with this sort of thing because I think everybody kind of keeps everybody else in check a little bit really with uh, their particular tasks and, and that sort of thing. Um, see, Shaz and Elliot gone back to be hard at work now. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if we never broke all of post-production down into these sort of little sections, I don't think we'd ever get anything done because everybody needs sort of smaller goals to work towards so that you look like you're getting somewhere and so you can plan much easier how long everything's going to take. Um, it's not perfect, things always happen that kind of get in the way and, and mess things up, but 
we do try and kind of keep on top of our targets and and every week we will all sort of sit down and see how far we're getting and what issues we've got um, so a little bit of an insight into how we how we're working our sort of plan for post-production here um, so hopefully that's given you a bit of a insight into that and maybe some help if you need to plan kind of big collaborative project like this yourself um, I think I'm going to sign off for this evening um, Dave will probably be back tomorrow I would imagine um, so I'm going to say goodnight from me and from these guys over here busily working Chaw. No chaps, um, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.